So the year is 1999. It's Friday night. And what is everyone doing in the year 1999 Friday night? Going to your local video rental store. So my parents actually owned a local video rental store uh, called Videotown, similar to Blockbuster. And so I was there all the time. And my parents, they were uh, immigrants from India, came over. This was their first business they started. And Friday night, 1999, uh, I recall, I think Matrix had just come out. So the place was popping, right? There were so many people there, balloons, people wearing those little Morpheus glasses. It was just the highlight, right? It was a great place to be. And I remember being at the store with my parents and uh, my dad looked around the store very proud and said, son, this is how local business should be. And my mom also mentioned at the time, and she was you know, wise beyond her years, said, uh, this is the, the golden age. We got to enjoy it. And I think we know what happened next in the story. Redbox came, Netflix, Netflix came, and uh, the local video rental store business just died. Uh, I'm bringing this story up for a couple key reasons. One is I think there's a perception of what a local business is. People think it's similar to what my parents had, which is a um, local store, physical storefront, a lot of overhead, CapEx, a lot of labor involved, solely focused on one place. That's what people think when they think of local business. The next is that it is true that there is a golden age for everything. For my parents, they were in the golden age for video rental stores. Right now, I think we're in the golden age for local home service businesses. There's never been a better time right now uh, to open up a home service business. And there's a couple key factors which are happening in the world right now, especially with technology that make it easier than ever and more profitable than ever to have a local business. So there's definitely the golden age for having a local business, especially in home services. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about today about how to build a fully remote seven figure business and use that to travel the world and be fully remote. So uh, a little bit about me. Uh, my name is Neil. I'm the CEO of a company called Made This Franchise. Uh, I worked in tech VC for a few years, um, worked on deals worth about $100 million and invested that capital. I started Made This as a side hustle. Um, and with, this is now a national franchise. Uh, I've been traveling the world for about seven years now. Uh, as I record this, I'm currently in Rwanda in the capital city called Kigali. We'll be working from East Africa for quite a while while running my local business in Los Angeles. So I've been doing this for quite a long time. Um, quit my quit my corporate job in 2015 and just started traveling since then. Been to over 40 countries. I'm also host of the podcast called The Remote Local Podcast, where I talk about how to start a local business and manage it completely remotely. So what we're going to talk about today, number one, escaping the rat race, right? Getting out of your corporate job, seeing how to start a business as a side hustle and actually scale it and how that's actually possible with a local business. We're going to talk about why you'd absolutely crush it in the local markets and what's going on in the market right now for you to be able to do that. We're also going to talk about how to build a remote local business and be able to travel the world just like I did. Cool. So let's dive right in. I'm going to first talk a little bit about my origin story. So I worked in VC for a while, long hours, cubicle monkey, um, doing doing work over there and you know I, I didn't hate the job i actually really enjoyed the people i worked with it just wasn't for me right i wanted to do something entrepreneurial but i just wasn't really sure what to do and late night when i was doing financial models i was on reddit when i was supposed to be working and i see a post on reddit of a guy who started a local cleaning company and i thought huh maybe i could do that as well and at the time i was trying to find any side hustle which would make money and i had two main motivations number one i wanted to quit and travel the world and number two, I wanted to help out my parents financially. Video rental stores weren't doing that well in the mid-2010s. They still had a video rental store, so I wanted to help provide for them financially. So I was looking at traditional things like e-commerce or drop shipping, just things which scream remote, right, which people think are remote. Anyways, came across the post on Reddit and thought, you know, why not give this a shot as well? And so that's when I actually started, made this. Uh, no cleaning experience. I was literally just working in private equity and venture capital at the time. But launched a cleaning company, which is called Made This. Um, years later, um, so two years after doing it as a side hustle, I think we were doing around $30,000 per month in revenues when I quit my job, uh, took it full time and booked a one-way flight to Colombia and South America and started traveling. Been scaling it since then, um, done almost $10 million in total revenue um, since that time. And it's as of a couple years ago, as of uh, 2020, we've started franchising the model to allow other people to copy what we're doing with having a fully remote local business with Made This. So now it's actually a national franchise. So we're the first and only vacation rental cleaning franchise that exists, focused on both residential cleaning as well as vacation rental cleaning. And we're a completely remote franchise as well, meaning anyone who buys in can start remote from day one. So let me talk a little bit about why I think you're gonna absolutely crush it in the local markets. Reason number one, there's a national geographic moat in local. You know, uh, when I started, I was trying to do e-commerce, there's marketing, nothing was really working 
In hindsight, I realized why. It's because I was competing against the entire world, right? I thought to be remote, I have to have this remote type business, which means anyone in the world can do it. The reality is if you start a local business, you're really only competing against the people in that market. That's it, right? There's a, nat a natural geographic moat around you. And what I'm going to teach you in this presentation is actually how to do it remote. So you could have the best of both worlds, have the competition of a local market, but still be able to manage it wherever in the world you want. Reason number two why I think you're going to absolutely crush it in the local market. Local businesses don't really know what they're doing with marketing at all. Right? That's, that's one reason why I saw made this growing while my other side hustle ventures were floundering. Simply because the competition wasn't that great in the local cleaning business, and that's why I crushed it. And I think this is true for a lot of local businesses, not just cleaning. I just happen to pick cleaning. But if you look at um, painting, lawn care, mobile car washing, there's so many different industries where competition is not great, right? So if you come in with a mentality of you know how to do marketing or you're willing to learn how to do marketing, you're going to pick up the phones quickly. You, like the sumo wrestler here, you're going to absolutely crush the local competition who are very old school. Here's some stats which kind of blew my mind. Um, almost half, 45% of small businesses still don't even have a website, which is crazy. Um, here's a story. I was talking to my um, one of our franchisees, Dan uh, from Myrtle Beach. And during the onboarding process, I said, hey, Dan, call your top 10 competitors on the first page of Google just to do some competitive research. He calls me back and says, Neil, uh, eight of them never picked up and never called me back. It's only two out of the 10 on the first page of Google for a city even picked up the phone and, and called him back. I'd encourage you to do the same thing if you need some validation. Call the top companies in your area on the first page of Google just to see if any of these cleaning companies even pick up. You'd be surprised how many don't pick up or don't ever get back to you. So picking up the damn phone is truly a competitive advantage, which is crazy to say. Lastly, uh, small businesses still tend to spend a lot of their money on offline stuff, postcards, val packs, mailers, things like that. It's because a lot of small businesses are still run by people in the older generation, right? They don't fully understand online booking forms, how to create a website. So that's the majority of what we're competing against is those people. In short, most local businesses don't know what they're doing with digital marketing, or if they do, they do very little of it. Here's some examples to further the point of um, some of the local competitors, right? So uh, on the left side, it's a competitor in Los Angeles of ours called Sunny Major Referral Agency, but around since 1979, right? So over 40 years. Still around, still making money. This is their website, old school GoDaddy website, very weak sales funnel. Uh, but like I said, they're around, they're still making money. On the right side, this is a large national franchise called You've Got Maids. Uh, they have over 100 locations, I believe. Uh, you can read the header, live well, laugh off, and love much. Uh, get a free estimate. Uh, you know, these very cute baby, I don't really know what I'm doing with this. So there's not really a great lead capture. I don't want to estimate, I just want to know the price. Live well, laugh off, and love much. Don't really know what I'm doing here. This is what we're going up against. This is a competitor of ours. Here's our website on the other hand, and I'm not saying it's the best website in the world. I'm showing you this to illustrate certain key points of what you can do yourself to actually dominate the competition. Number one, we just focus on website conversions. Lead capture, very easy uh, gamified form over here. You could click, 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 capture the email address, send them follow-up email campaigns. The user interface of the website's very clean, right? It's easy to navigate. It's an easy online booking platform. We have an online chat, which has automated messages as well. Uh, on the digital marketing end, we do stuff which just converts. Things which maybe is very old school to people who are in e-commerce, drop shipping, digital marketing, but for local businesses is very new age, right? And I truly believe that if you just do what's current in digital marketing, you're already two, three years ahead of the competition in terms of cleaning. Search engine optimization, running AdWords funnels, posting on social media, having email funnels. These are basic foundational things for marketing, which I guarantee if you do it, you will beat your competition. And reason number three why you're going to absolutely crush it in the local market is you can bring a global workforce to compete on a local level. That's the beauty of having a fully remote business and setting it up in a way which I'm about to teach you. You could then recruit from different areas of the world for your office staff and have them service your local geography. For example, for my California operations, I believe the staff is across eight different countries right now, right? We have accounting in India, we have sales in South Africa, we have um, other support and admin in Central America. So you could have a global market and find a global talent pool to dominate your local competition. This is only possible if you have it set up from the beginning in a way that is remote, right? A pure local business who has an office and needs office staff there cannot do this. But the new age company, the golden age we're talking about right now, you absolutely can do that. So this is a huge competitive advantage. You can have higher profit margins and be able to just source talent from everywhere in the world. Cool. 
I'm going to talk about the three steps to having remote life. Uh, step one, you got to pick the right business model to begin with. Step two, eliminate the need for offices by setting up the business correctly. And step three is finding and building your remote team to actually manage everything remotely so you can actually travel the world and live wherever you want. Let's talk about step one, picking the right business model. So here's a myth um, that people say, you can't be remote with a local business. Complete bullshit. Absolutely you can. Uh, I am proof that you absolutely can do this. There's tons of other people who are doing this as well. If you pick the right business model, you can be remote with a local business. Don't pick a video rental store, right? You cannot be remote with a video rental store unless you have a general manager and have a lot of overhead. Um, but there's some business models which you can be remote from day one. But let's talk about the spectrum for what I call remote local business. So what you have here on one side is where you have to be present at the job site. Let's say you have a physical storefront. You're selling nutrition supplements. You have a gym. Maybe you're a personal trainer. Maybe you have a video rental store. You have to physically be there. That's not great to have a remote business. It's just really tough to operate that remotely, right? So not every single local business can be remote, but if you pick the right ones, it can. Let's go to the far other side, the investor level money. Um, you can have any business be remote in theory if you have a lot of money. For example, the owner of McDonald's, whoever owns a McDonald's, I guarantee he's not working there. He has a general manager from day one. Why? Because it's cost one to $3 million to build out a McDonald's, right? They're hiring someone from the day one. So that person, the owner, is technically remote because he doesn't actually have to be there. But unless you have investor level money, which is a lot, it's, it's going to be very difficult to do that. So what I think the sweet spot is, is kind of in the middle, which is finding the right business models, which can be remote. Some business models are more ideal for this. For example, I made this local cleaning company. We can do that remotely. The key is your team dispatches to the job site, not your office location or storefront location, right? The other key is it can't be capital intensive unless you have the capital and want to build some sort of barrier to entry and have investor level money. It can't be capital intensive. So here's some ideas of remote local business models you can start. Number one, I love home services. Why? Because you literally go into the person's home in order to service them, home services. Because of that, uh, you naturally don't need the technicians to report to an office. They could go straight to the job site, hence, being perfect for a remote local business model, right? Examples would be pest control, window repair, HVAC, painting, cleaning. The pros of this, competition is typically lower tier. Try calling the top 10 pest control companies or local cleaning companies on Google. You'll figure out that the competition is lower. I always think about this formula, NPS, net promoter score, plus low sophistication equals money. NPS means um, customer satisfaction. So um, if you have a place where customer satisfaction is critical and there's low sophistication, you can make a lot of money in that business. Cons of this, you typically have to manage labor, right? This is a people-based business for home services typically, so there's going to be more labor to manage, potentially lower barriers to entry, meaning more entrance into the market as well. Uh, number two, real estate play businesses can be remote local. Car washes, laundromats, right? These are kind of more passive. They're almost more real estate plays as opposed to real businesses. The cons, they're pretty expensive to buy or start, right? Car washes can go for five to seven times EBITDA multiples, meaning they're earning multiples times that amount on an annual basis is what it would cost to actually buy it. So very expensive. And the other one I mentioned, uh, larger businesses with managers in the place. So um, typically investment play stuff, if you're buying an existing business, let's say if there's cash flow above $300,000 already, you probably have extra money to buy a manager. Cons, you need a lot more money to acquire them, and you really need to know what you're doing. I never advise a complete novice to buy a large business to start with because uh, it's an easy way to lose a lot of money, right? Higher risk. Cool. So let's say you pick the right business model, you pick cleaning, and you want to make it remote. Here's the next step is to eliminate your office needs, and here's how to do it. The keys to making your local base completely lo location lists. Number one, ensure you have limited overhead. If you have an office right now, eliminate it or don't even start with an office. If you really need an office, go get a co-working space membership. That's it. The way you're going to set this up is the labor is going to bring their own supplies and you simply reimburse them for it, right? A couple ways to do it. You give them flat rate and say, hey, here's the piece pay for the job. Um, and that includes supplies and make sure you reimburse them properly as part of that for supplies. The other option is you could actually ship them supplies. So let's say you actually want to provide your own clean supplies to your employees. If you have employees, you could literally Amazon ship them supplies and that way you don't need to have your own warehouse. You probably lose a little bit of margin there. I'm sure you can buy bulk and keep it in your own source facility and it makes things more profitable for you. But the reality is we're doing this to have a remote business. You're not losing that much margin by doing this. 
I recommend uh, typically having the labor provide their own supplies if possible, and you can simply reimburse them for it. The good part about reimbursing them is uh, they're also not taxed on reimbursement, right? So you can reimburse them for supplies. They're not taxed on that amount. So if you have employees, that's a great way to get them some money. Uh, the labor uses their own vehicles. So every state has different laws around this, but you have to reimburse that person for the use of their vehicle. So as long as you add that in as reimbursement for the use of the vehicle per mile and make sure you track it, the requirement would simply be you need to bring your own car and go straight to the homeowner's site in order to do it, right? So now they have their own supplies. They have their own vehicles. You don't need to invest a ton of money to get a fleet. You don't need wraps. You don't need an office location. You've eliminated all of that overhead and outsourced it onto the labor. And you just make sure they're paid handsomely for it, right? Make sure they're, they're paid for their effort here. Um, my recommendation, lastly, is have one boot on the ground person or eyes need to tasks. For example, if you need to interview people, um, if you really want to go meet a property manager, if you're off in Africa like I am, it's great to have someone local on the ground just in case you need someone, right? So that's always one key benefit. I do recommend always starting a business in a location that you are familiar with or have some ties to. Last step here to have a fully remote business you can travel the world is building a remote team. So how do you find a global team? Um, we typically recruit from Upwork. We work remotely or another website called Dynamite Jobs. Um, here's the key, post a secret word in the job ad. Upwork.com is the biggest marketplace for freelancers. The, it's great to get lead flow, but the reality is you have to sort through a lot of people. So we always do this. At the very bottom of the job ad, we'll say something like, you must write pineapple on pizzas is weird, or comment back with your favorite movie in the cover letter. And if you don't, we're not gonna read your ad. This eliminates so many people, at least half the people who apply don't even do this, meaning they didn't read your instructions. So why should you hire them, right? So that's a great little hack to immediately weed out other people. Now we've actually started um, requiring them to submit video or audio recordings just so we could kind of hear how they're doing. Uh, I highly advocate doing a three month trial period. So you'll tell them, hey, we're gonna bring you on for three months paid. We're gonna try you out. You don't have the job yet until that trial period's over, right? So that way you could test them. We always do multiple video interviews in multiple stages. We wanna test whether this person's willing to jump through the hoops to get the job, right? So you might have an initial call, then you say, hey, email me back in two days and I'm gonna schedule a call with this person. See if they email you back in two days or not. Always do video calls as well. You wanna test their internet connection. You wanna test how they look and you get a lot more cues if you actually see the person uh, via Zoom as well. So those are my recommendations for finding a global team members. Last step, once you get that going, start living the dream. Um, start traveling, start working remotely, bring your laptop with you, make sure you have good internet connection. Um, here's the thing is you, once you leave the city that you're in, you'll quickly find where the breaks are happening in your business, right? Where things are falling through the cracks. It's tough if you're there being the band-aid, but if you just leave, things are gonna start falling and cracking and then you're gonna know, you're gonna be able to pick up the pieces and see it more clearly. So it might be a little bit painful at the beginning, but I guarantee you working remotely and not being there is gonna pay bigger dividends because you're gonna be able to systemize a lot more ongoingly. For example, for me, I've been traveling for about seven years now, right? 40 plus countries, uh, a lot. This has actually helped us scale faster because I had to get extremely systemized to fix all of these cracks while I'm traveling, right? I couldn't be the bandit anymore. So now I'm actually able to work just a few hours per week on my corporate locations and spend most of my time on franchising. Why? Because it was highly systemized just out of necessity from working remotely. So that actually is a huge benefit to your business. Amazing. So thank you very much for listening. I'm actually going to talk a little bit about Made This and what the franchise offering is for what we're doing over here. So um, we are actually the first and only cleaning franchise targeting the vacation rental community. There's no other short-term rental cleaning franchise that exists, and we're going at it in a big way. Um, our tech could actually hook into Airbnb, VRBO, Booking.com, any of those platforms' calendars. Whenever a host has a checkout, it can automatically schedule cleaning with us. Uh, and then you can automatically assign a cleaner and a backup cleaner, billing and checklist, everything gets automatically sent to the client. So highly, highly automated on the vacation rental side. Uh, probably the best tech in the vacation rental industry as, as far as cleaning goes. So the tech platform makes things very streamlined. We use a ton of new age marketing strategies, which I talked about earlier, and we do a lot of that for you. And again, we have the systems and everything set up completely remotely from day one, and we actually teach you how to do it. So let's say you have an existing company already, but you want to get to the next level. This might be for you. If you're starting a company from scratch and trying to figure out, hey, how do I do this and go about it by myself? It seems daunting. We have a lot of the systems already built for you, and you could literally copy and paste what I've done. So we'll talk about how you're supported. So we start you off when you sign up with eight-week exclusive owner training. 
It's a virtual training around your schedule, just getting you ready to rock. So how it works is we'll do classroom. So let's say we'll have a classroom for two hours of training. And after that, I'll give you homework. And I'll say, hey, this week you're going to set up your LLC, get your EIN number, and finish your competitor analysis. Here's the sheet to do it. We'll have a check-in call about following week. And in between there, just a lot of communication is happening to make sure you're set up for success. So here's examples of what we go through. So the service offerings, we do a pricing analysis with you. We analyze your competitors with you. We create your whole marketing and sales plan. We go over sales training. So you actually get to copy and practice the exact script we use to convert residential and Airbnb leads into paying clients. We go over this with you tons of times. We go over the basics of marketing. Talk about client management. How do you onboard a client? What's a red flag client? Who should you not onboard? Who should you onboard? Right? How do you handle complaints? How do you get referrals? We teach you all of this in week four. Week five and six, all about cleaner management. What's the recruiting funnel look like? What number should you be targeting? Um, you could sit in on as many cleaner interview calls as you want with my team. Right? So you could literally sit in on the Zoom calls, hear what we're interviewing, hear what we're asking, talk to my team about it, full access there to see how to onboard the best cleaners and how to find them. We actually help you find your first remote team talent. So where to find talent and the best practices around it and actually get another person onboarded for you. Lastly, we go over management systems. So we implement the grand launch marketing plan, which we've been working on for eight weeks with you. And we actually teach you how to actually manage the operations so you could actually be completely hands-off and travel the world. So EOS, Entrepreneur Operating System, is kind of a management system for running your business and internal team. Profit First Accounting System, we help you set that up from the very beginning. These are things I paid consultants tens of thousands of dollars to implement in my business, which now we just systemize and give to you for free. You also get access to the ops manual. Um, this is nine years, nine plus years of every single system I've created. This is hundreds of thousands of dollars of mistakes, which you don't have to make again, right? Everything is systemized in this living, breathing ops manual. You go through this during training, you have access to this ongoingly. It's constantly updated with videos, everything. So this is what you're buying. These are all the systems documented for you and for your team as well. All the tech stuff's done for you. We create a high converting website for you, which is on the Mavis website. SEO specialists create it. We get all the email phones set up for you. We do constant tweaking, pop-ups, like we handle all of the optimization for you ongoingly forever. Marketing, we do a lot of things for marketing for you. Uh, SEO, we get you ranked on Google. Uh, since you're part of our domain, um, you also can rank faster, so it's much easier. We do a lot of local listing creation. We do custom email campaigns for you. Uh, we have a, a paid ads manager for you for Google paid ads and managed everything. You get a dashboard to see how you're converting. We set up your social media pages. We post on there. It's just really a done for you type of service. Like a lot of things are done for you over here. A lot of the foundational things I think you need to really, really scale. Here's also a uh, competitive advantage. I think it's a little bit unfair in the franchise world is R and D arm. So I could actually see what's happening with all of our franchise locations, see what works, see what didn't work, make sure it's in the off span and bring it to you. Why this is beneficial for you? Because you don't need to test as much anymore. You might say, hey, I really want to try out Angie's List or Thumbtack, but does that really work? Hey, I guarantee we've already tested it and we've already systemized it. If it does work, it's in the Ops Manual. You have all the graphics, collateral, copy systems, everything you need to get it going. So you don't have to spend waste spend time and waste money testing. If it doesn't work, we're going to know it doesn't work because another franchise has already tried it. So we can let you know, hey, this really doesn't work for the cleaning world, right? So this helps you move much faster and save a lot of money. Lastly, um, everyone contributes to a national brand fund. These are, this is a pool of resources that go straight back to you so we could share content. Uh, for example, let's say we want to create like an awesome kick-ass Facebook video, which has made this branded. I guarantee you a local business cannot afford doing that. But because we're all the same brand and we could pool money together, we can now afford doing that and everyone gets a share in that high quality resource. You also get a launch coach for the first couple of months. Everything to answer, like, hey, how do I set up my LLC? How do I get my EN number? How do I onboard my first cleaner? Everything you need. Uh, ongoingly for the first year, you actually get one-on-one -on -one coaching as well. So you get weekly coaching going over the KPIs. Um, I'm doing a lot of the coaching myself right now as well uh, to make sure you're fully set up for success. Even after that, you'll get ongoing coaching and you get unlimited email and phone support. So quick recap. Um, I think this opportunity is for you from the Made This uh, franchise, if you're aligned with the core values, you want to build a highly, highly profitable business, you just want to copy and paste what I've done, right? Skip a lot of the years of trial and error, literally copy and paste everything and leapfrog the competition. You love the idea of leading a team and dominating a local market, and you want to follow proven systems, but still have the freedom to be a resource for yourself.